All right, welcome to our latest swap cast. We're here after the, I don't want to say spring game, Robbie. Nothing because, close to a game. No, uh, it was a, a basically a glorified practice, which most spring games are anyway, yeah. but this one especially uh, was a, kind of an odd thing. They were limited, a lot of injuries. Uh, it wasn't fun to watch. The only thing I hear, hear was worse was watching it on television where they didn't show any of it. Yeah, I heard all the good plays were missed, it seemed like. But, but you know, I agree with Will on this. And, the spring game, you get less than you would from a regular practice. You split the squads up. Right. You, you don't do a lot of things defensively. I think going against each other this way is probably better than having a spring game from their standpoint, not from the fan standpoint, of course, because I'm sure they are pretty bored by this. Yeah, and I think, yeah, they got a lot out of this practice today, and that's really essentially what it was. And, you know, we saw some good things. Certainly, uh, you know, there was so limited wide receiver that Driscoll didn't have a great day. Uh, but they did protect him a little bit. But I like their pass rush on the ends. It looked good. They were blitzing a lot. That looked good as well. So, uh, you know, I thought their coverage was pretty good. Robbie. Coverage was really good. But I think that's definitely a team strength for them. And you're right, Dante Fowler and those guys were putting heat on, which they didn't have a whole lot of last year. So yeah, well, that's I, a promise. When I say I like their, their blocking, I was talking about more of the middle, yeah. uh, where I think they're going to be really strong this year in the middle of that offensive line. But look, usually we tell you, after a spring game, well, this happened good, so that means that happened bad. Yeah. So, but, you know, to be honest with you, today it was just kind of like they just were out there and they had a good practice. And I think, uh, you know, listen to Phil Course. When's the last time you had a, uh, a coach say, you know, we didn't have a good spring? Yeah, you never hear that. <laughs> you never, or they had a bad off-season lifting program. Right, exactly. But the bottom line is you had a nice little crowd out here. So actually, more than I thought would come out, knowing that there wasn't a real game being played. Yeah, give Florida fans yeah. credit. They turned out pretty big time. And uh, and now spring football's over. Now, you know, it's an important time for this team because to take that next step, you've got to have a great offseason. And, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of that is going to be Jeff taking those receivers out there, Robbie, and really working with them on their timing. Yeah, timing. Like he said, windows. Not having two guys in the same window, which in this offense you do that, you're clustered. So. And, you know, the one thing about today, Pat, offensively, Florida's best offensive player, perhaps, Matt Jones only carried one time. Yeah. Because he's clearly the starter now, and they didn't need him to give him any work. So it'd be, it's going to be fun to watch that kid develop over the next couple of years. And, and you know, we saw Demarcus Robinson in the pregame make a great catch. Yeah. So you know the skills are there. Obviously, he's limited with the angle. Only had a few practices. Uh, and that's the unfortunate part. We didn't see much of anybody that really. Troy Pittman was out as well. Troy Pittman out, uh, hurt himself diving for a ball in practice. So we didn't see a lot of that. But uh, in the end, I think we all know this is going to be a good forward team. I've said this all along, Robbie. I've been asked a lot. Of course, when we were out in te Texas, a lot of people were asking me this question: What do you think about Florida this year in football? And I tell them the same thing. I said, I think they're going to be a little bit better than they were last year. Yeah. But last year's team overachieved. And yeah, so they somehow won those games. They won the quarter. So. A handful of get plays and a handful of games. Can this Florida team do that? And that's what we don't know. Uh, I know that Will really likes his locker room. I think yeah. he likes the chemistry of this team. Yeah, there is. And I think that there will be a bump in the second year in Peace's offense. I think and Jeff Driscoll is going to be a bump for him as well. So if the receivers can make some plays for him, if they can protect him, I think the offense will be a lot better. Yeah, we didn't see that bump today, but yeah. I expect to see it uh, during the season. But don't forget, there's still a team that has to go to LSU, go to South Carolina. Very tough schedule. Yeah, it's very tough schedule again. Got to go to Miami, got to play, obviously, Georgia. So we'll see how they do. That's going to do it for this latest Swampcast. Next time we'll be coming to you, it'll be 